بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هلو ستودنس اجين جلايد to hear from you again mega goal three turn your box please to page Fourteen, please. Page fourteen. Unit one, of course. Writing. Um, we have, as you see here, here we have an essay. We are going to read this essay and then discuss the questions above here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play a recording and you are going to follow me to help you and you can read it alone of course but listening to a native speaker is is better let's begin okay of course we are going to write an essay today huh? let's begin I'm going to play the recording. You can follow me. Okay. Just yeah. okay. Learning face to face and online. There have been significant changes in education due to technology. The internet has played a determining role in transforming the face of education as we used to know it. More and more universities and colleges offer F2F face-to-face, -face, and online course modes or blended versions that combine classroom F2F and email, social networking, or synchronous e-learning. Research has shown that students choose different options depending on individual preferences, learning styles, and practical considerations. For example, Working adult students prefer online courses, as they offer the flexibility that they need to combine learning with work. In other words, individuals whose time and or mobility are restricted are happier with online courses. On the other hand, a large number of students enroll in F2F courses as they feel that face-to-face -face instruction and communication with peers will help them understand concepts better and learn more effectively. They are not opposed to using email or social networks to communicate with peers, but not with their instructor. On the contrary, online students find it easier to communicate with instructors by email, as it frees them of inhibitions they might have about asking questions or raising issues face to face. Both groups defend their respective choice wholeheartedly. This is further demonstrated by success rates and learning outcomes. So, given a positive attitude to technology and the necessary skills, students will benefit from online courses as much as their counterparts in face-to-face -face contexts. What remains to be seen is if such courses will also benefit interpersonal skills and help people perform as members of a team. As you see here, our lesson for today is about something that we are doing now, it's which is online learning. But here we are, we are yeah, it's mandatory to have online learning now. It's not our choice because of COVID-19. You see, here we have, we are going to talk about something which is uh, online learning and face-to-face -face learning, which is better according to you. Here we have some questions. Look at the photos and define face-to-face -face and online learning. You are going to face-to-face uh, -face learning, which is you when you go to school and you see your teacher, and teacher you gives you uh, information directly. Online learning, but something that we are doing now. Uh, of course, in the near future, we are going to use uh, online uh, alive. Huh? 
together, inshallah. But now it is recorded. Uh, so online learning, it, it can be uh, recorded or it can be alive. Um, do you know anyone who is studying online? Of course, now we are all studying online. Would you prefer to learn online? Why and why not? This is uh, something that you can discuss it together. Uh, so, so alone, sorry. Uh, why and why not? Do you prefer learning online? If you prefer, why? If you don't prefer, why? Do you prefer to communicate with your teacher and the classmates face to face? Or you also the same, you, why and why not? What are the differences between uh, learning online and face to face? Read the text and answer the questions now that follows here. Uh, what is the trend for university courses? Trend, trend, and it's something that people, universities do usually. Of course, universities now they have two, but in general, uh, uh, the degree, if it is taken from an online learning, it will not the same be the same as face-to-face -face learning. It is stronger. In general, you can just hear what kind of students opt, opt options here. You can say options for online courses. Why do some students enroll in face-to-face -face courses? Why they choose face-to-face? Well, according to the passage here, you don't answer from your, for, by yourself, huh? You just read the text and you answer these questions. Which type of course is more successful? Again, according to the text. Okay, let's move. Here, read the text again and find out which paragraph presents information about face-to-face -face courses. Which paragraph talks about face-to-face -face learning? Yes. Mm -hmm. Paragraph three. Uh, sets the scene and introduces the topic. Uh -huh. Paragraph one, the sets the scene and it introduces the topic, of course. Because it's introduction. Introduction means the first paragraph. Uh, present information about online courses. Which one talks about online courses? It is paragraph two. And round sub issues in general. Both groups defend choices, success, learning, benefit from online courses, and face to face context, etc. Okay, guys, let's move to our workbook. Uh, not before our workbook, uh, let's discuss the homework that you are going, they say that you are going to do. Hmm? Here you study, top 10 to your box to page 15. Follow me, please. Here study the charts below. What is the topic of our discussion shown uh, in both? Write and essay comparing and contrasting two ways of socializing and say which you prefer and why. You are going to think about two things, huh? socializing online and in person. Socializing online and in person. You know, is it uh, having your friends in person or just online it is enough? An online friend what do you think it is better? Uh, socializing in person, the, as you see here we have uh, Venn diagrams. If you like socializing in person, you write in the yellow, you draw Venn diagrams first. Huh? Uh, if you like socializing in person, you write why. If you like socializing in, on the internet, you write why. Uh, if you like both, you write why. Of course, you are going to write uh, an essay about socializing. 
uh, in person uh, in the internet and both. You have the introduction is written for you if you if you want to use it. Socializing online and uh, in person, this is the title. In some way, socializing on the internet is similar to socializing in person. For example, whether you are actually with your friend or on the internet, you can just and you can continue. You write about things related to socializing in person uh, or socializing on the internet, and you can write uh, your a, a view of both. Then at the end, you decide which one you prefer. You see, here uh, at the end of the page, you have writing corner. These are things that you put in your mind in order when you write uh, your essay. Huh? Things that you should follow when you write your essay. Use phrases, use phrases, etc. Provide examples, etc. Things that you help you to write your essay. You can uh, use the previous essay to help you to write your essay about socializing. Remember here you have uh, socializing a person, you have socializing uh, on the internet, and you have both. You have three ideas here, and you are going to give you at the end to give me the, uh, to give me at the end your choice. Uh, remember also here to do your workbook. You have you have uh, some uh, page seven, page eight. Already we have done it. Uh, put it on A4, of course. The essay that you are going to write, write it on your copy book or or on A4, on A4 paper and send it to me on my WhatsApp. Perhaps I'll give you uh, my email, huh? so you can email me instead of the past WhatsApp. Uh, it doesn't matter, it is the same. Of course, okay, now uh, turn to page 7, do page 7, here you have some, uh, you have uh, a picture. Hmm? Look at the picture, take notes on the main object and actions that are happening, then write sentences that tell you what is happening and what may happen. Main object, main actions, you have three sentences, you talk about this picture, okay? Write notes about it. The main object, action, and what's happening in the picture here, okay? See you guys next time, inshallah. Thank you again for listening.